Hello there and welcome to Lower Six Further Maths A Level Pure Call 1 past paper June 2015. That's question 2 and it's a series question. Use the standard formulas for the sum of r and the sum of r squared to show that the sum of r plus 1 times, this times uh, r plus 1 is equal to this expression here. So what we're going to do here is we are going to first expand the brackets of the r plus 1 r uh, plus 4, so that would be 5r and plus 4. And what we're going to do now is we're going to split these up into the different summations um, separately. So it would be sum of r squared plus, and I'll pull 5 out as a factor, plus 5 times the sum of r plus the sum of 4s. Now all of these summations are from r equals 1 up to n. Now the formula here, we're going to use the formulas for each of these um, expressions. n squared, so, so r squared is going to be n over 6, m plus 1, 2m plus 1. Uh, the second one is going to be 5, lots of n over 2m plus 1. And the last one here is going to be, well, if we add 4 up n times, uh, we're going to get 4n. So the next part is to now create common denominators between all three of our algebraic terms. It looks like if we create a common denominator of 6, that would work for all of them. So the first one is going to be n over 6, m plus 1, 2m plus 1, plus uh, times the bottom by 3, so times the top by 3. And for the last one, create a common denominator of 6, put a 6 on the bottom, we're going to need 24 on the top there. So now's the big factorising step. Pull out as many expressions and divisors as possible. So we're going to have a 6 on the denominator. We need an n, because we can see n is once, twice, three in all of our terms. Uh, we could nearly pull out n plus 1. We've got it here. We've got it here, but not unfortunately on the last one. You can't do that. So it's just n over 6. And then it's going to be m plus 1, 2m plus 1. Uh, add uh, 15, lots of n plus 1. And then add 24 at the end. So let's expand the brackets. We're going to get 2n squared add 3n, add 1, add 15n, add 15, add 24. Let's uh, simplify this. Two, n over 6, 2n squared. We've got 3n and 15n, so that'll make plus 18n. And we've got 1 plus 24 is 25. Add the 15, we get plus 40. So we can now, just looking at the answer here, we've got a divide by 3 on the bottom. So if we pull out a factor of 2, we can get that um, divisor of 3. So it would be n squared plus 9n plus 20. And then just have a little check. Yeah, that works. So I will factorise it inside the bracket. So it would be n over 3, n plus 4 n plus 5. Excellent, a little square because we've proved it. Great. So the second part is to now show that the sum from 2n down to r equals n plus 1 of this formula here can be written like this here. We need to find a and b. So what I need to do for this one here is I need to split up my summation so that it starts at n plus 1 and ends at 2n. So what we have to do here is we have to split it up from uh, m plus 1 of our expression into the sum from 1 up to 2n. But here, when I've done that, I've included too many terms. I've had to do it because my formula here only works when I start at 1 on the bottom. So I have to subtract the sum of... Um, starting at 1, and we'll have to go all the way up to 
n. We're not going to go as far as n plus 1 because we still want to include that in our calculations. We're going to go just to 1 less than this, up to n of our function our f of r. So now we can use our formula here um, for 2n and for n. So for the first one, wherever we see an n, we're going to be plugging in a 2n. So it's going to be 2n over 3, bracket 2n plus 4, 2n plus 5. And then we're going to subtract uh, our summation up to n. So that's going to be n over 3, n plus 4, n plus 5. So now we can do a bit of factorising. We've got n in both terms. We've got divisor of 3 in both terms. And what we've got left is the 2 and the 2n squared n plus 4, uh, 2n plus 5. And we've got that at the back there. So it would be 2, lots of 2n plus 4, 2n plus 5. Then we have to subtract n plus 4, n plus 5. Right, OK, so now what we have to do is expand the brackets inside these square brackets. So it's going to be uh, 2n times 2n is 4n squared, but times the other 2 will give me 8n squared. Uh, we're going to get mm, 8, 10, 18n, but times the other 2 we get 36n and 4 times 5 we get 20 times the other 2 we get 40 subtract n squared take away 9n and take away 20 so what do we get when we simplify this we're going to get 7n squared uh, take away 27n add 20 Okay, so let's have a little brief look at the answer. So we need to factorise out an n plus 1 somehow. So let's see if we can do that and it makes sense to what we've got above. We should have a 7n at the front here to times to make the 7n squared. We've got plus 20 here. Hold on. Now we've got plus 36 and that's a plus 27, by my pardon. Um, so we've got 7n here. So we need a plus 20 at the back. Uh, so there we have it. So A here is representing the number 7 and B here is representing the number 20. Great, 8 marks.